Elastic Max and Neck Lift This patient wishes to rejuvenate her face and neck in a natural way, without suffering the trophic damage caused by the ample dissection carried out in traditional lifting procedures. In Elastic Max and Neck Lifting, the cheeks and neck are not dissected and the procedure is ambulatory. A line representing the incision to be made during elastic max lifting is first drawn. This line surrounds the lower portion of the sideburn, travels upwards in the hairless preauricular region and then descends, stopping at the tragus. The three traction vectors are then drawn, the malar vector and the two vectors of the cheek, where the suspensive isosceles triangles will be created. The short skin incision is made, which stops at the tragus. Dissection extends slightly beyond the zygomatic arch and is then prolonged in the form of a one centimeter tunnel above the fascia of Loray. By means of the Jano needle, the elastic threads are fixed to the temporal fascia to create the three triangles to suspend the subcutaneous tissue. Two triangles lift the cheeks, while the third lifts the malar region. All the tissues encompassed by the triangles are lifted. The elastic threads are knotted. Within a short time, the thread will be colonized by connective cells, thereby becoming a ligament and making the result stable. Elastic neck lifting is now carried out. Through the tunnel, the two-tipped needle anchors the elastic thread to the fascia of Loray before continuing along its pathway following the preoperatively drawn line of the cervicomandibular angle. Having reached the contralateral fascia of Loray, the Jano needle anchors the elastic thread to the fascia and returns to its point of entry along a pathway parallel to the previously implanted thread. The elastic thread is tightened and knotted The cervicomandibular angle is now well defined. All the vertical excess skin is now removed. The deep tissues of the flap are sutured to the temporal fascia. An absorbable intradermal thread is used to complete the dermal suture. The patient has a rejuvenated look and does not present any surgical artifacts. For a few months, the patient should wear an elastic bandage around the neck in order to accelerate integration of the threads with the tissues. If integration is not rapid, the tissues may slide slightly along the thread, causing a fold to form in the center of the neck. To avoid this untoward effect, we have created a neck lifting procedure that uses safety pins. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.